You wouldn't know it from the blizzard pounding the Northeast. Here's a live shot from outside the Wall Street Journal building in New York. But camping season is right around the corner, and there's nothing quite like a family camping trip for making the kind of memories that stick with you. For more than 55 years, Campgrounds of America, the world's largest system of open to the public family campgrounds with more than 500 locations in the U.S. and Canada, has provided millions of campers with fun adventures. Joining us now to discuss camping trends is Toby O'Rourke. Chief Operations Officer at KOA. Toby, welcome. Thanks so Thank much you. for, Thanks for making us. your way here in the blizzard, <laughs> which begs the question, what do campgrounds do when there's weather like this? Well, there's people camping everywhere, right? So they're very busy in Florida and Arizona right now. But uh, typically in the north, we're not open right now. Our campgrounds don't get going until spring. You close down. Do you but, have to rescue people sometimes? Well, if hurricanes are coming in, one of our campgrounds is in Cape Hatteras. So when the hurricanes are coming in, we definitely evacuate. You definitely get, we out, get out, out of there. Yeah. All right. So Toby, did you camp a lot as a child? I did. I grew up in uh, western Montana. So outdoors is a big part of our life and grew up camping. And then um, KOA was founded in Montana, actually, so that's where we're based, and Great it's a very story. big part of our culture um, out there. Absolutely, and so now you run 500 campgrounds. Give us an idea of the range. What are some of the more interesting ones you want to tell us about? Yeah, we have campgrounds all over the U.S. and Canada. Pretty much anywhere you want to go, there's going to be a campground. Uh, we've got three different types of campgrounds, primarily overnight parks, which is on long major interstates, you know, all about convenience. From Southern California, some great campgrounds, let's say San Diego, Ventura, yeah. Ranch, uh, California, in the orchards, you know, beautiful peacocks and trees, to upstate New York, nearby here, some great things. Diamond mines? Rivers. Herkimer Diamond Resort. That's yep. so fun. Kids can, can go digging for their own diamonds. You Have can. they ever found any? <laughs> My kids and I went last year, and, and they did find a couple little ones. They did. Oh, yeah. there you go. That's that's a, a, certainly alluring. Now, how does it work? Do you Can anyone just come up to a campground? Do you have to make a reservation? Is there a fee? How does it work? Sure. You could walk in. You could drive up and, um, and find a spot, but most people are booking online in advance. In okay. fact, our online reservations are up 40% this year versus last year, so more and more people are going online. So we Book all of our campsites through KOA.com. We also have a mobile app. A lot of visitation, particularly this time of year. Nothing like a storm like this to get people thinking about camping. So of people, course. Uh, and is there a fee? Ahead. Does it vary from campground to campground? <clears throat> all the fees are based off location, geography, right. um, amenities at the campground. So right. very localized to the, the region. But yes, there's, there's obviously fees that range for the different site types. Now, there is the 2007 camp report out, Yes, which is very interesting. It shows that more people are going camping than ever, and millennials are leading the trend. Right. We definitely are seeing a trend. Um, over the past three or four years, over a million people, a million households have started camping. So definitely on trend, more and more people going to the outdoors, and that's largely driven by the millennials. Interesting. 38% so of all campers are millennials right now. Now, there's also a trend towards glamping, mm -hmm. which we know is sort of glamorous camping. Right, right. <laughs> So are the millennials driving that as well, or is that across the board? <laughs> Absolutely. We know millennials in particular are looking for unique experiences, particularly if they have families. Mm -hmm. um, they're drawn to our deluxe cabins. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of campgrounds have beautiful cabins with bathrooms. It makes it a lot easier to camp. But also campgrounds are starting to put up teepees, uh, tree houses, yurts, all sorts of unique glamping experiences that are bringing more and more people out. Fun. And what about on the low end? Most people camp in tents. If you okay. just look at the, the landscape of North American camping, 60% are camping in tents. Okay. So that would probably be your entry level right. camper. Some people stay camping in tents throughout their, their time of camping. Some start to try RVs. We're seeing a lot of trial with RVs, particularly with new campers as well. And the RV industry is... Through yeah. the roof. <laughs> They're through the roof. They're making more than ever. And you're also seeing an increase in multicultural camping. Is that right? A lot more diversity coming in. We're yeah. very excited about that. If you look at the new camper base, 40% of new campers are multicultural. And that's more reflective of census populations. So yeah. as camping grows, we're going to see a lot more diversity, which is very, very exciting. Because I think traditionally, camping's been a very older, more Caucasian activity. And we're seeing that face of camping is completely changing. That's certainly exciting. Yeah. Now, you've certainly been behind a lot of the growth at KOA. What has been your strategy? Big part of what we try to do is just be anywhere someone is, we're trying to be there from, mm -hmm. from a marketing perspective. Mm -hmm. So whether they're you know on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're reading the newspaper, they're watching shows like this. So we're trying to just be in front of that and let people think about camping, exposing them. Um, but also, you know, we're trying to reflect the face of people that are camping. So we're trying to show the diversity, show the different age groups, and the wide range of diversity of our campgrounds. Like I mentioned, we're all over the country. There's experiences for everybody. And we just try to showcase everything that you could 
find that just gets people thinking. Absolutely. And one of the things that popped out of the report to me is that millennials say, you know, one of the reasons I like to go camping is it brings me balance in my life. Yes. I think stress is so a big part of everybody's life right now. Everyone works so hard. And camping is just such a stress relief. And that's the number one thing when we ask, why do you camp? People are looking for stress re reduction or they want to get out with families and friends. So. Nature will do that for you. Yeah. Toby O'Rourke, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very today. much.